Well, we're dealing with a whole new pain in the butt this morning. This tire has been having issues where it goes flat. You know, it'll, I don't know if it's got a hole in the tube or just the valve seems messed up. Um, probably just a hole in the tube, but you see it leaking out around the valve stem. I didn't realize it was had a tube in it, so I thought the valve stem was cut, but it may be actually just the tube. Uh, anyway, so I hopped on this morning to unload these logs and as I was backing up with the second one I thought man the tractor feels a little low on that back end. Oh, yeah, it's because the tire was completely flat and um, I've had it run flat once or twice before but was able to get it to air but now My valve stem got sucked up in the rim So we've got to try to actually pull this tire off here Take it off the rim if I can see if I can find up big pry bars to do it. I did it as a kid I never did it on a tractor tire, but the concept's the same. It's just a bigger tire, so you just gotta find bigger pry bars. But we're gonna try to get this thing off the tractor, laid out, pop this part of the tire off the rim. Um, and I mean, really, I should find a really I should find a replacement tube, I guess. Um, may have to buy a new tube, but if I can just get it uh, rolled around there for now and aired back up, so I can finish what I'm doing, that's what I'll do, and then I'll see about getting some numbers off the tube and ordering a new one. But I was just going to show you guys what I had going on as I get started up here. I've got it jacked up on the bottle jack because I didn't realize the valve stem was off at first, but the two, the tire was all, you know, cattywampus. And so I was going to try to just jack it up, take the weight off, and then air it up so that it kind of press out evenly without, you know, the bottom being squished. Um, but yeah, seeing what I'm seeing now, and it's, whew, it's just about to fall off my jack. So I'm going to get a jack stand under there real quick, and um, then we'll see about trying to pop this tire off. But like I said, I was going to jack it up, just try to air it up even, and then I got to looking at it and realized the valve stem was sucked up inside there. So now I've got to try to actually take it apart. But we'll see what we can do. All right, so we got it off there. It was actually really easy. These tires aren't as big and foreboding as they look. Uh, and the lug nuts, actually, my four-way fit them perfect, so I didn't have to fight with them at all. I didn't have to even get a cheater bar. They broke real easy. So we've got it laid down here now. This hole for the valve stem is right here. The valve stem, I think, is somewhere right about in here. So I've got a couple of pry bars and flat bars. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to give it a shot and see if we can pull it off there or not. It is going to be obviously tougher than a car tire. It's bigger, thicker rubber. But with any luck, I think we can get it. We're just going to get our pry bars in here under this edge. Try to pry it up and over the rim. Enough that I can reach in there and manipulate the tube and try to spin the tube around to get the valve stem back out through the hole. Well... So far, I'll say it's actually going better than I expected. Um, using the crowbar works the best. Started with the crowbar with the flat end of it. Got it underneath, got the first lip up, and then used a flat bar to hold that. And then just went around about another foot around the rim, popped it over again. And once I did that about two or three times, uh, it actually got easier. As you get more play over the edge of the rim, it actually gets easier and easier. So we've got it up now. I know I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> And this tire has water in it, I guess in the tube, but the valve stem somewhere right about here. I can reach in, so you guys can see, there's the tube right there that I'm poking. So I feel around, there I can feel it right there with my fingers. So it's right about here. I've just gotta try to be able to spin it, get that valve stem out through that hole, and then air it up. We'll pump it up real tight and see, like I said, if we can at least just get it. It's been holding air. If you get it pumped up tight, it's been holding air for about, you know, three or four days at least. Uh, so if I can get it pumped back up, get this rim put back together, um, like I said, finish what I need to do. And then I just need to be able to check the tire every day before I start running the tractor and park somewhere close to air because I had to go air up the compressor and then drag the dang thing all the way out here in front of the house from back at the shop. I've been parking by the shop and then I got cocky yesterday, was in a hurry, I had to shut it down right here beside the driveway and sure enough, that's when it gets you. So, let me try to reach in here, see if I can slide this tube around just a little bit and get that valve stem back out. Well, I think sometimes I should just keep the camera rolling. 
got my valve stem back. I was trying to reach in between the tire and the tube and spin just the tube. Not happening, okay? But since the tire is broke off the rim, I was actually able to just grab the whole cleat of the tire and kind of wiggle it and spin the tire. And as I did, it drug that tube back around it like it needed to. And I could see through the hole and I saw the valve stem. So then I just kind of wiggled around and got it to poke out and feed out. Now I don't know, I really wish I had like a, a retainer nut or something to make sure it doesn't slip back through, but I don't really know why it would. Um, I'm just gonna be real careful and start trying to pop this tire back on and just keep an eye on that valve stem the whole time I'm doing it. Make sure that I don't let it drop back in there. All right, well this is why you don't get cocky because now it is getting absolutely horrible. Taking it off was far too easy, deceivingly easy. Getting that last little bit on there is not going well because I'm trying to get my pry bar in here, but because the pry bar has that slightly curved back on it, when I go to try to pry up on it, it wants to just slip right out. I can't tell you how many times I've about slipped and busted my butt. You can see I've kicked my block over there out of the way and been kind of trying to move tools out of the way. And then as I was fighting it, that valve stem actually dropped back in. So, I had to go get a little piece of wire and made a hook and I managed to hook it under there and pull it out just enough that I could grab it with needle nose pliers and then pulled it out the rest of the way with needle nose pliers and then put vice grips on it so it can't drop back in. But that's at least holding, which is good because I'm about to get nasty with the sucker. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna have to do other than just keep fighting and cussing. I don't think there's really a trick to it. Maybe put some soap or oil on the edges of the rubber just to help it slip in, but it's just, that's thick rubber, and it's hard to pull it over. But I'll keep fighting and let y'all know. All right, here's the long and short of it. This is not a Sunday activity. I absolutely did my fair share of swearing. But, you know, I fought it, and I fought it, and I fought it. And then when I finally figured it out, I slipped it on really easy. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I did. I don't know if it was right or not, but put oil all around the bead. So that it slips easy. And what I learned was I was watching a video um, on uh, Chris, Let's Dig 18 on YouTube. He had a guy come out and repair his tractor turner. That guy did it with the rim on the tractor, uh, but he's a professional tire guy. I actually stood it up and tried putting it back on the tractor once or twice to see if somehow that gave me a better advantage. But the, what I caught from that guy's video was once he started the tire on, he put a pair of vice grips on the rim right where the tire was advancing, okay? And what I found was, as I would get the tire to about the halfway mark, maybe two thirds, when I would pry and start to get it on the other side, I'm sorry, I can't see my phone, but when I would start to get it on the other side, this side over here would slip off the rim again. And just putting the vice grips on there was all it took to make it not be able to slip back over the rim. And just as soon as I did that, within a minute, maybe, had it back on. Now, here's the crappy part of the story. The tube's trash, okay? It had a slow leak somewhere through me fighting and fussing with it, or maybe when it actually rolled off the rim, it's a lot worse of a leak. You can see the ground's all wet. That's ballast fluid that's leaked out of the tire, which is inside the tube, and it's just pouring out. I was hoping maybe, you know, it wouldn't matter. The problem is now, it's Sunday. Where in the world am I gonna find a tractor tire tube? Most tire shops that would have this tube are not open on a Sunday. I don't think it's something a tractor supply like somebody like that would carry. I don't even know what size it is. I was looking at the tire size. All I can see is this. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but 12.4-28. That's the only thing I see on there. Now that's the tire size. I don't know if that means it's a 28 inch rim. I guess I can get a tape measure and see. But anyway, I don't know where I'm going to find a tube for it. Probably not today. And of course, the tractor's down right smack in the middle of everything, in the middle of the driveway. I've still got logs on the trailer. Uh, I can't back the trailer up and disconnect it from my truck. I mean, maybe I can weave it in around the tractor and everything else. But that's not here nor there. I'll figure all that out. I may get Rosie over here and see if I can get a chain around the back axle of the tractor and pick the whole back end up and just kind of, you know, roll it off the driveway here. Um, but... I guess for now I'm gonna go do a little shopping and see if I can figure out if I can find that tube. And I mean, I've already come this far and now I've learned enough to fight it off and fight it on. I guess I'll see if I can't replace the whole dang thing on my own. 
Well, I'll just give you the good news about the tractor here and the tire. So today's Monday morning, and actually yesterday I was able to get a tire, a tube, ordered, and it's supposed to be in first thing this morning right here in town. So there's a little local tire shop, and I knew the guy wasn't open on Sunday, but I've done business with him several times, and I just called the phone number just hoping that it might be his cell phone or his house phone, because he lives right next to the shop. Hoping that he might answer, and he did! And he placed the order, and he called me back. Well, so I was telling him, you know, and I said, look, I'm looking at these ones online, and they're, you know, with shipping, they're 50 bucks, but they're not going to be here till Thursday. That's the fastest shipping I can get. He called me back, and he said, $45, it'll be here in the morning. Bingo. So, we'll get this tire loaded up. I'm going to go ahead and load it up and bring it to him, and just let him help me put it on. Um, as much as I fought with it yesterday, it wouldn't hurt to have a little help, plus, and not being sketchy, but plus, if we damage it while he's helping put it on, then hopefully he would warranty it and he would replace the tube. Whereas if I bring it home and I puncture the tube, trying to put it in there, then I'm out, gotta buy a new tube. So, I really don't wanna fool around with it. I mean, I know he's gonna charge me 20 bucks or whatever to help stuff that tube in there, and that's totally fair. But anyway, I just wanna share with you guys the good news. I did find a tube, basically overnight. That's the fastest I can get. No one was going to have it in stock, I can't imagine. There's nowhere around here that, um, I mean, maybe like your tractor dealers, maybe they would have it, but they're all closed on Sunday. And they're they're not, they're closed on Sunday. They're not going to answer the phone. They don't have a, a cell phone or a home phone, you know, that they're going to answer on a Sunday and, and place an order for you. Or they're not going to meet you up there at their store on a Sunday and get you a tube. So this is the best I could do. I'm happy to, happy to share so, you know, it's one of those things, the small town luxury, make sure you guys are, <laughs> are in good favor with the services in your town so they can help you out in situations like this. Well, I still don't know if it was me running it flat or if it was me with a pry bar, but uh, I think that's why the tire wouldn't hold in the air. <laughs> I don't know if there's another hole somewhere else, but that's clearly a problem. We're up here at the tire shop today. They got my new tube ordered in um, basically overnight. Got it in the truck this morning. And uh, I just came up here and brought my tire up here just to, you know, like I said, have them help. But they're actually busy with other customers. So I went ahead and tore the tire apart and got this old tube out. I'm going to ask him if he wants me to stuff the new one in there or if he wants to do it himself. But try to help out anyway, just get this done. It always impresses me to see somebody that's good at their trade. I couldn't even get video of Robert putting the tire back together who did it so fast. Part of it's having the proper spoons and the proper tools, but he stood up on that thing and he had that tire back over the rim in 30 seconds. <laughs> so, anyway, that always makes me happy to see. We've got the new tube in. We just got her pumped up. Um, we're not putting ballast fluid in it, but uh, right now, at least get the tire aired up, holding air so I can get my tractor back to work. <laughs> 